Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I will be doing an unboxing of our Bath & Body Works haul. So without further delay, let's just dig right in. Let's see what we got. Alright, this one is my mom's and it's her favorite. It's the Night Blooming Jasmine Ultra Shea Body Cream. It smells really good. And then we have You're the One Fine Fragrance Mist. This one is Into the Night Fine Fragrance Mist. And then the 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Body Cream, also Into the Night. I haven't actually smelled this one yet. Let's see. Mmm. I might actually like that better than the Jasmine. Okay. So. And then we have some soaps. This is the Gentle and Clean Apple Hibiscus. That one's mine. And we have some small things here. I believe these are candles, but I'm just going to set them here for now. And some more bubble paper. And this one is Gentle and Clean Foaming Hands Up. It's pink strawberry. So actually, I have to smell this because. I was so excited to get this one, let's see. And then we have Moonlight Path Ultra Shea body cream. She wanted the fine mist and the body lotion in like all of them, but some of them were already sold out. Some of them I was able to get into my cart. And then as soon as I went to go pay, it was like not available. I'm like, dude, I just put it in there. Um, so I bought this. It's the Sun Drenched Linen Refill for Your Car. When I ordered it, I didn't know it was a refill. I thought it was just a thing. So I guess now I have to go to the store or buy the thingy online. And then... So we did get the Night Bloom Jasmine in the Fine Fragrance Mist. I'll try to keep them organized. I guess it's more or less for my own OCD here. These are all candles. You probably can't even see because of the flap. <laughs> and I'm messing up my tablecloth, but that's okay. So, I like how they package them too, I must say. I was worried about shipping candles because I'm like, well, it's glass then obviously it's Bath & Body Works. You kind of trust them to know what they're doing. So. Oh look. Oh, that's right, I did buy three. So these car fragrance things were actually, I wanna say it was $4 for one. It is, $4 for one or you could get three for nine. So I was like, well, one for my car, one for my husband's car, and then, you know, a backup or for my mom's car, whoever else, but. Now I have to buy all of these things. Okay, bye. So that one's gone. <laughs> yeah. That failed. Okay. Then, before I open candles, sorry if I'm stepping out of frame just for a second. Got some more bubbles. So, I just put this over here. I got coconut eucalyptus. First off, the bottle is gorgeous. It's okay. Can mommy make a video? I do. <laughs> so I got coconut eucalyptus. I first off, I love the design of the bottle. I love the colors. This actually matches the color that we picked out for our bathroom. So I think I might just try not to use this until the bathroom is painted and done and finished. That way it can just look extra nice when I take my after pictures. Sorry. Mm, very fresh and like not crazy strong. It's just good. I like it. I definitely have to smell this too. Passion fruit and banana flower. What? 
so that smells really nice. <laughs> this one is Waikiki Beach Coconut. So as you can see, I like a lot of the coconuts. I like a lot of the beachy, fruity, tropical scents. but it smells really good. I can't decide which is the best one so far. I'd have to use them and let you know, but this is Waikiki Beach Coconut. So now let's move on to the aromatherapy. These are kind of expensive, so I just bought one, but we use this and we go through it like butter. Um, it's the Aromatherapy Eucalyptus and Spearmint Stress Relief Moisturizing Body Oil. So my husband is amazing and he gives me foot massages all the time. And this, like, when he gives me a massage, it's always, like, right before bed. So it helps to, like, kind of calm us down and just, I don't know, I really feel like it does help to, like, relax me. It says, um, soothes and uplifts. I wouldn't say it uplifts. Not to me, anyway. I would say it soothes. And then it says the eucalyptus clears the mind. And I would definitely agree to that. And I like the way it smells, too. I actually still have the hand soap upstairs. And I've been trying not to use it often because I only want to use it like right before bed or when I feel like I would get the most benefit from it. So let's move on to the candles. Okay, we're gonna start with the little candles. I can't remember if the little ones are mine or my mom's. Um, this is Honeysuckle Bouquet. I still don't know if it's mine or hers. Oh, but I wish it's mine. <laughs> I hope it's mine because it smells so good. Okay. So I'll put that little guy right there. Then we have this one. Lemon mint leaf. This reminds me of a day spa. And at first when you walk into a day spa, or at least me when I was younger, I was like, oh my God, it smells so bad in here. Now that I'm older, I feel like I can really appreciate all those scents and oils that they're always burning or you know melting or whatever there. This just smells so good. This makes me happy. And I really wish they had it in a three wick candle. So this one doesn't have the explanation of the essential oils that it's made with, but that's okay. I know lemon usually is, I think it's helpful for people that have ADHD if I remember correctly, if not as orange. But lemon it definitely gives you energy. I believe it helps you to focus. I don't know, either way, lemon makes me happy. I try to buy all the different lemon hand soaps <laughs> and especially like with washing dishes. So here's our candles. Most of these are mine because I am obsessed with them. Get it? <laughs> oh, I miss. <laughs> they take me forever to burn them, so I'm surprised that I bought this many because this would literally take me like a year to get through four of them. island margarita and it definitely makes me want to drink an ice cold margarita mm. <gasps> <laughs> I got it so close to you though I got it so close to you I know I'm killing these boxes but I'm trying to hurry up because I'm racing against the baby who's getting fussy so this one is pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm gonna open it and smell it anyway, but this is one of my favorite ones to burn, like, end of August. End of August, don't judge me. September, October, and especially November. Pumpkin pecan waffles, it just smells so good. Oh, it just smells like you've been baking all day long. And it's like, I used to never like spices in a candle especially. <laughs> But as I've gotten older, I have learned to appreciate the spice smell. But I still would never ever buy like a cinnamon spice candle because that's just not, I don't like that. Like, ask me again in 10 years maybe. <laughs> All right, so this one is Coastal Watermelon. Such a pretty color. This is similar to the color that we actually just painted our porch. Mm, that smells very good. It's very different than what I was expecting to be honest but it is very good. My only concern is that part of the wick has like a hole around it. So I hope that's okay when I'm burning it. And if I decided to use these in the same room, 
They would go perfectly together. Winning! Okay. Next. So this one is sugared lemon zest, which again, I like the lemon. It already excites me just thinking about it. <sighs> I really just love all these. Like you can't even ask me to pick a favorite because I would say I just love all of them. Some of them make you want to literally just pack up your car, go to the shore, and get one of those extra sugared lemonades that we all know have way too much sugar in them, but they're delicious, so. Did you get it? Yay! Okay, so this one's dark with coffee. I wanna say this is for me, but you know why? It's because I love the smell of coffee, but I don't actually drink it. I know, right? I think I just cursed in some language there. It actually smells very good. It reminds me of the smell of when you walk into like a Starbucks like the coffee bean smell obviously <gasps> guys that's how you open it duh i've been opening it from the side i'm a whole nother kind of special sunny lime again me and my citrus mm, i don't know how i feel about this one i'm indifferent about the sunny lime no offense <laughs> i think i like it i'm not sure though we will see. So here's the correct way to open it. No, I can't do it. Okay, I personally love this one. Sun-drenched linen. I always try to get like all of the linen ones or the laundry day or anything like that with like candles and especially the wallflowers. I feel like they just keep my house smelling so fresh and clean. And like when you walk in, it smells like you just did a load of laundry. I just feel like it makes me happy. Like I love doing laundry. I know that's weird. I just don't like putting away. <laughs> but I will wash clothes all day long and I will transfer them to the dryer all day long. I love doing that. Folding them, hanging them, not so much. Oh, that's so nice. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here just for a second until I can figure out what's happening up front here. Last one, are you guys ready? Boom. Vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. Please let me like this. Oh my god. It smells like a fresh homemade pumpkin pie. It smells amazing. This is definitely up there with my top favorites along with the pumpkin pecan waffle, I believe it's called. Mm. So now, let me just find a nice pretty way to show you guys what I got. On my little haul for the sale that they had, I believe it was the semi-annual. I might have to rearrange these before I take a picture. Yes. So price-wise, I don't actually remember the prices. I know these retail for $7.50. These are $7.50, $7.50. This is $8.50. Um, these, I thought were $18, but it says $16.50. These candles are $24.50 pre-sale. Um, and the small candles are $14.50. I believe most of my candles were like somewhere between like 11 something and 15 which is a really good deal because even when you have a coupon or they have a sale going on, usually it's hard to find them cheaper than like 11 or $12. Sometimes you can get 10, which is great. The little ones I've actually never bought before today, so I can't really vouch on that. The hand soaps, I try to get them when they are six for 26, which would make it what? A little less than $4 a piece, right? Because six times four is 24. Well, no, a little more than $4 a piece. So I think it's still a good deal. Um, here, let me find out how much these are for you guys. Oh, it literally just doesn't say, so. Um, but yeah, they were a pretty good deal. I want to say maybe they were like $6, maybe a little bit less. So, 
I definitely feel like we got a really good deal. I'm happy that I went into it with my mom because that way we were able to spend enough to get free shipping, which is always a bonus. Although this might have been the event that already had free shipping. <laughs> I think you had to spend 50 to get free shipping, which I'm sure we accomplished that. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please drop them below in the comments. I would love to know what is your favorite scent from Bath & Body Works or from, what's it called, White Barn? Yes, their um, sister line is always sold in the same store, usually sold in the same store, White Barn. What is your favorite scent? And you know, do you use any of the sprays or the lotions or are you just kind of like a candle and wallflower person? Me personally, I love the candles, I love the wallflowers. My skin is very, very sensitive, so you'll probably never ever find me using any of like the fine mist sprays or the body creams. But I definitely love the essential oil and I definitely love the hand soap. And obviously the wallflower and the candles. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my Bath & Body Works haul. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know. If there's any company or any specific thing that you would like to see, feel free to send a request and maybe I'll do it just for you. <laughs> As always, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell if you'd like to be notified for future videos. Bye now!